Hey everybody. I have been thinking and I got an idea I wanted to share with you guys. I have been crunching some numbers recently and I'll show you. This is app max. It says gold is $1,244.80 per ounce. Silver is $14.83 per ounce. So every way that stacks silver and gold they, they do it on their own accord, and this is by no means me telling you or suggesting in any way that you should be stacking one type of metal over the other. This is just an idea I had, and I wanted to share it with you guys and get your guys' feedback. So, everybody is familiar with the silver to gold ratio. Basically, you take the price of gold divided by the price of silver, and you get the silver to gold ratio. So right now, as of, what is say, the 13th of December, the silver to gold ratio is 83.94. So, we'll show you that. 1244.8. Get the calculator up. All right, 1244.8. Nope. I fat fingered it, sorry. 1244.8 divided by 14.83 equals 83 point, I ran it up to 94. Okay, so with that silver to gold ratio, the way it is, the common misconception is that you can buy, we'll just round up to 84, you can buy 84 ounces of silver per one ounce of gold. So I crunched the numbers, I went through Atmex and JM Bullion and a few other ones. I pretty much, I, I averaged a few different sources. So I got a bunch of numbers written down, right? So basically, we're going to break it down between gold eagles, gold maple leaves, generic gold bars, and then we'll talk about American silver eagles, silver maple leaves, and generic silver bullion rounds or bars. So starting with one tenth ounce gold eagle, the cheapest I found Now, you have to understand certain websites. You get a discount if you pay by check or wire transfer, or you pay it a little bit, the convenience fee, most, pla most places call it, if you use your credit card. So I broke it down by both costs. So for a one ounce, one tenth ounce gold eagle, check or wire transfer, is a hundred and forty three dollars and ninety nine cents. What does that mean? That means that one piece of gold will cost you nineteen dollars and fifty one cents over melt value. If you pay with a credit card, you're gonna pay a hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And you're gonna be paying twenty five dollars and fifty one cents over melt. So that is $255.10 per ounce over melt. That's a lot. So let's go to a quarter ounce gold eagle. Pay by check or wire transfer, $345.22. That's only $34.02 over melt, which is $136.08 over melt per ounce. So for the remainder of these, I'm just gonna assume you're paying the cheapest amount possible and you're gonna pay with a wire transfer or a check. For a half ounce Gold Eagle, I found $670.49, which equates to $48.09 over melt for that half an ounce, which is $96.18 per ounce over melt. 
and a one ounce gold eagle I found for $1,303.07, which is $58.27 over melt value. The gold maple leaves are a little bit different. They're four nines fine. The American gold eagles are 22 carat. So they break it down even further. You can get a 1 20th ounce gold maple leaf. So the cheapest I found was $87.24. That is $25 over melt value for that little round, little coin. $500 per ounce over melt. 10th ounce, $141.49, which is $17.01 over melt, or $170.10 per ounce over melt. One quarter ounce is $344.21, which is $33.01 over melt, or $132.04 over melt. A half ounce maple leaf, $672.44, which is $50.04 over melt, or $108. I'm sorry, $100.08 per ounce over melt. A one ounce maple, a gold maple leaf, one ounce, is $1,292.87, which is $48.07 over melt. So that, that is the government issued. That is the, the stuff that carries a little bit higher premium. So let's talk about if you're just trying to stack simple metal weight. Well, you can get a one ounce Perth bar right now for $1,251.59. I'll show you that gold price right there. $1,244.80. That Perth bar is $6 over melt. that is ridiculously low over melt. On all these bullion websites, I'm finding American Silver Eagles for between three and four dollars over spot. That's a huge premium. And as far as generic silver, Generic silver, I found, if you buy enough of them, you get a, a bulk discount, but you're still paying $1.50 to $2 over spot. And I think if you break it down by the, the dollar cost averaging of one gold ounce, so if you're going to that Perth bar, for instance. If you're gonna buy a one ounce Perth bar for $1,251.59, you're paying, was it $7 over spot? Let's do the math real quick. And 59 cents minus gold is 1244.8 you're paying six dollars and 79 cents over melt price for gold right now there is no way you can even come close to that for silver right now the cheapest silver to gold ratio I found. If you take that one ounce Perth gold bar for $1,251.59, and you take the cheapest, least expensive generic silver rounds, that silver to gold ratio goes down to 
0.62. So you drop 10 whole ounces of silver if you do a realistic silver to gold ratio. In an ideal world, you're paying spot for everything. The silver to gold ratio right now is 83.94. Realistically, with premiums on pretty much every coin, round, bar there is, the realistic silver to gold ratio, the cheapest I found, is 73.62. So, I'm not saying that I'm going to stop buying silver because me personally, I think silver looks better than gold. But from a financial standpoint, gold seems like the better option right now. And then if you look at other types of silver and gold, the, the junk silver, the constitutional silver, whatever you want to call it, or the the, the junk gold coins, a lot of times you can get eBay bucks on those and you can buy those for well under spot. So just something to keep in mind, something I've been thinking about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great night.